Hello, my old school soul food family. Chef Jeffrey back with another video. All right, y'all. Y'all seen me make banana pudding before, maybe a couple of times. But as you see by the PV picture and the uh, and the uh, title, I'm making this banana pudding, y'all, with meringue. I never made it with meringue before. I've always made it without the meringue. My mama I didn't grow up with it with meringue, even in the country. Nobody there, my aunties and uncles, grandmother, grand, never made it with meringue on top. People always say, do you put meringue on top? Do you bake it? Look, I'm going to do it today, and we're going to try it out. I've eaten it before with meringue. Of course, I love meringue. The reason my mama didn't do it, she didn't like meringue anyway, even though she made lemon meringue pies and coconut meringues and stuff like that. Like I told you, she called it calf slobber. She didn't like it, so maybe that's why we never grew up with it, with uh, with the meringue on top. So, with that being said, we're going to make this with the meringue on top, y'all. So, we're going to get started here. Let's find my whisk here. Move y'all over here. And all I got here, the regular stuff, y'all. I got eggs, eggs separated. I got the egg whites back here. Milk, sugar, cornstarch, butter. I got clear vanilla and banana extract. That's it, y'all. Very simple vanilla pudding. Just like I always make it. And we're going to get started. First thing I want to do, we're going to put our milk in here. And I'm going to put add my, put my milk in here and get it going here. And I'm going to take my, let me show y'all here. I'm going to take my sugar and my cornstarch, y'all. And I'm gonna mix it together and I'm gonna add it right to the milk. Throw the cornstarch in here. And I'm gonna whisk this together. That way the cornstarch can get in there with no lumps, no nothing. With more there, we're gonna add this right to the milk and let it all come up together. And later we're gonna add a little to the egg whites. To temper them, y'all already know, not egg whites, I'm sorry, egg yolks. And temper them so they are, uh, won't be scrambled eggs in there. And we'll add it back to the milk. So we're going to add the cornstarch sugar mixture to this. And we're going to let this come to a boil. And you got to be real careful, y'all. Once this starts to come to a boil, it's going to thicken up on you quick. Very, very quickly. So you gotta keep an eye on that. I'm not gonna slice the banana. I'm not gonna do nothing till this is ready. I'm gonna go, I'm definitely gonna keep an eye on it. I'm not gonna be doing something else and then that get away from me. Then I got a big glob of pudding here that I'm trying to get the lumps out of. So anyway, y'all, we'll be back when they come to the boil. We'll temper it with the eggs and uh, we'll go from there. Old school banana pudding with meringue. We'll be right back. All right, y'all, we back. You see how this is thickening up? See how this, this uh, mixture is really thickening up here? That's that cornstarch coming to life, y'all. Coming to life. So we're going to keep stirring in here, and then I'm going to add my egg yolks to this. And then this pudding is going to be finished here, y'all. And then we're going to start to work on the egg whites, and we're going to start assembling this bad boy. Okay. We're gonna let it get a little bit thicker. Okay, now while it's doing that, we're gonna add temper this. I'm gonna turn this down just a little, y'all. We're gonna take some hot liquid and add to the to the eggs here. I wanna bring the eggs up to temperature like the pudding is. So we're gonna mix, kind of mix that up in there. Like that, make sure it's really, really incorporated. Really, really good like that. Okay. All right, now we're just going to add the eggs right back into the into the pudding mixture, or the uh, sugar and cornstarch mixture. Make sure we get all that out of there. All right, I'm going to turn it down just a little. See how pretty that is? 
Got some pretty vanilla pudding in it. Okay, now we're gonna add some uh, some butter to this. It's gonna give it that nice shine. And right at the end, we're gonna add our banana and vanilla extract to this. You add the extract right at the end. If you add it before that, it's gonna burn off and you won't be able to get the whole taste of it. So make sure the butter's melted really, really good. I'm gonna turn this off. I'm gonna let the residual heat kind of melt that butter. That's how easy it is to make pudding, y'all. Get that butter really mixed in there. Let's see. If, now, all I'm gonna do now, y'all, I'm gonna uh, let me get my wire whisk here, y'all. Put a little bit of pressure on it. I hate to use wire whisk in my metal pots, but I need a little bit stronger. There we go. Okay. Now I'm gonna add a little banana, a little banana extract in there. And a little vanilla extract. This is clear vanilla extract, y'all. So you can taste it, but you can't see it. I turn this off, and that's it, y'all. Get my, my, uh, that's it. Look at that smooth, van smooth vanilla pudding. See that? See that? How easy that was? That's why you can't get no old school homemade in that, right? Definitely old school and homemade. Okay. We just gonna let this hang out right here, y'all. And uh I'm gonna be right back in a second. I'm gonna slice these bananas and open the cookies up. So we're gonna simmer this and then we're gonna do the meringue at the end. We'll be right back. All right, y'all, we back. Okay. All right, y'all, we're gonna simmer this this pudding here. And uh let me get this out the way. We're gonna put our pudding right here on the counter. We got our cookies behind it here. Stir it up here a little, whip it up a little bit more. Okay, we threw with the whisk. All we need now is the, the ladle. Okay. Got to fly in my kitchen this morning. Okay, well, right, y'all already know how I do it. I put a little pudding down here. And this is not my normal banana pudding dish, but I did it in here because I got to bake it in the oven. You like putting on a glass dish, but it's not made to be in the oven. Okay. Now we're going to put the bananas down here as even as possible. Then I'm going to do my cookies. And I don't do them pretty, y'all, because they're going to be on the bottom. And just as long as you get them in there even as possible. That's the way I do it. And like I say, y'all, I never did it in this dish before. So I don't know how this is going to... You got to do it in my big, I'm going to say, glass container. Bowl. I'm trying to be fancy here, y'all. Spread that pudding as much as possible. And I do my pudding warm. If y'all don't notice that. Because I think it evenly distributes better. The pudding when it's warm. And it soaks into the cookies. It's awesome y'all. It's something I really do like to do. Okay. And now I'm going to do a little bit different too. You got to use cookies last. But of course I ain't going to do cookies last. Because I'm going to have the moraine on there. So it's going to be pretty much pudding last layer. Which is going, that's what's going to be a little bit different this time. Okay. Put some pudding on here. A little pudding for the last. We're going to go to the last layer. A little bit more pudding here. Smooth that out. So, I'll clean up later here. Okay, we're going to do bananas. Put the rest of the cookies in here, y'all. Might save a little for the garnish at the end. Let's see, you don't want to 
them. They don't have to be pretty because because the meringue gonna go on top, not the cookies. Okay, it did not have to be pretty, y'all. You covering them, you covering with that pudding and the meringue. Well, you can't see it anyway. Okay, now we're gonna put the last of the pudding here. On there and we're gonna step off here and we're gonna make this meringue and that'll be it okay pick this up here let's move this out just a second y'all get all this out of here gotta get all this pudding out of here make sure we don't leave any in there Okay. Like I say, usually I use bananas at the last, but we're gonna use put meringue on here. So we're gonna put the pudding at the top, and the meringue will touch the pudding. Okay. Move that off like that, and I'm gonna clean this bowl, this casserole dish, where it look a bit nicer here in a second. Okay. All right, so we'll clean up here a little. We're gonna come back, make this meringue, and uh, put it on top, bake it in the oven to what, 10, 15 minutes, and we're gonna have some old school banana pudding with the rain on top, y'all. We'll be right back. All right, y'all, we are back. Okay, y'all, we're gonna get to start on the meringue. One thing about the meringue, y'all, make sure your bowl is clean, not greasy, and your egg whites is room temperature. That's very important, and you're making meringue. You, you have no grease. Nothing in your bowl. I pretty much like to use a glass bowl because the grease doesn't adhere to it as much as a plastic bowl. Use a plastic bowl, it's harder to get the really the greasiness off of it. So when I do meringue, I try to use a glass bowl as much as possible or a metal bowl. And then I use a little sugar in mine and cream of tartar. But I like to get a little, a little foam going first. If I get a little foam going, I'll add the sugar in it, little by little. Then I'll add the cream of tartar. I know this probably boring to y'all, but I'm not gonna cut the camera off. I'm gonna let y'all watch the whole process. y'all that's pretty much it that's as stiff as i want it see that that's as stiff as i want i might go a little bit more i'm gonna go one more minute y'all. That's it. 
I ain't cut the camera off, y'all. I know somebody gonna say, I don't wanna listen to all that beater going. I know it got them people out there. I can hear them now. I can hear them now, y'all. Okay, y'all, let me get this mixer out the way. So we're gonna put this, we're gonna put this moraine on here. Just like a lemon moraine pie, huh? Throw that on there. Guess I should start from the middle, huh? Move y'all over here where y'all can see what I'm doing. Okay. Hope I got enough, huh? Y'all think I got enough here? Let's pray, y'all, that I have enough to cover this pan. Okay. Pretty much know to go to the edge so it doesn't come apart on me. kind of make it pretty just like this like we do a pie make those tips that come up like that that's pretty much it y'all make those nice little little, little tips there and that's it y'all we're gonna bake it in the oven Usually this going to take about, usually moraine takes about 10, 15 minutes, 350 degrees. And we'll be back and I will show you the finished product. We'll be right back. All right, y'all, we are back here. All right, y'all, the uh, banana pudding fresh out the oven here. Got a nice golden brown uh, moraine on top. And of course, y'all already know I got to let this cool. Before I even cut into it, even if it was a, a regular banana pudding, I let it get ice cold, let it set up completely, and then we'll dig into it and we'll see how it is. Uh, and like I say, this first time I ever made one with the meringue topping on top, but I think it's just like going to eat uh, uh, a banana cream pie with meringue on top with no crust. I think that's how it's going to taste. I don't know, but I'll find out uh but like i said i'm gonna let this sit up for about three or four hours i'm gonna let it sit out on the counter for an hour then i'm gonna put it in the refrigerator three or four hours let it set up and later on we're gonna come back and i'm gonna see how good it is and, and call my neighbors because i'm just gonna eat one bowl but i'm on my pre-cruise diet i gotta get my cruise body ready y'all about to go on the cruise so i don't want to be eating too much of this dessert I need to save room for my guys' burgers on the Carnival Breeze. So, anyway, y'all, we'll be right back once it cool, and we will try this out. We'll be right back. All right, y'all, we are back here. All right, y'all, look at this here. I got a fly on my kitchen, y'all. Man, I tell you, y'all, can't have good things in the summertime, even though it ain't summer. It's still the spring. Look at this here, y'all. Look at that, yeah. Just like regular banana pudding, all I did was add the meringue, and we're gonna try it out here, y'all. We're gonna try it together. Give it a nice bite there. Look at that, yeah. Nice creamy pudding, meringue going in. Mm -hmm. Wow, y'all, this is really good. Like I told you, I've tasted it. Look at that. With the meringue on it before. Mm -hmm. I never made it and put it on there because my mom, she never made it with the meringue on top. But it's good, y'all. Very good. Perfectly balanced sweetness. One more here. Show y'all a little meringue topping. Look at that. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's good, y'all. Nothing like banana pudding. Nothing like some good old banana pudding, y'all. 
Don't get more better than that, right? Mm, mm, mm. So try this recipe, y'all. It's just my regular simple um, banana pudding recipe. Only thing different, I just put meringue on top. That's the only thing I did differently. And uh, I didn't put the cookies at the last. I put the pudding at the last and put the meringue on top. And I guess you can decorate it with cookies, however you want to do it. But yeah, simple and easy. So anyway, good the good uh, uh, recipe I'm gonna add to my repertoire. Look at that fancy name, repertoire. I hear somebody saying that. Honey, honey, what is repertoire? Chef Jeff is using big names, big words. Yeah, repertoire. That's a word of the day. So anyway, y'all, let me close this video out. If you like the video, please share, please comment, please subscribe, please follow my other social media accounts, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Twitch TV, Pinterest, TikTok, and OldSchoolSoulFood.com. And the hashtag 2023 just show some kindness, y'all. Old School Soul Food. Till next time, have a blessed Old School Soul Food day, and I will definitely see y'all in the next video. Y'all love y'all. Bye.